here is my initial velocity. Here is my final velocity. Look at this. This is actually a little bit scary because uh, in grade 11, we always just did things sort of in uh, one dimension. And uh, now we're in two dimensions. And when we change velocity, not only do we change magnitude, we change direction. And so when we go to figure out which way the acceleration is, we have to take the final vector and subtract the initial vector. So it's not adding. It's a little harder than that. We have to figure out how to subtract vectors. But what if we had the negative of the vector? Well, that would be just like adding the opposite. And so this is our strategy when we're finding accelerations. Uh, we take the initial velocity and then we add the negative of the final velocity. Now as usual we could do this using uh, sine or cosine law and do those awkward things required to figure out the angles or uh, an even better way is to break up both of these into components and once we have the components figured out which is very easy to do using SOHCAHTOA we just have to add the components. And so, as you can see, there's been a lot of acceleration in one direction, and uh, we have actually slowed down in the other direction. Now that I have my components sorted out, I can do the tip to tail addition. And there are the, there's the change in the Y component, there's the change in the X component, now I'm going to just add them together. Keep in mind, you will be doing this using, uh, using algebra almost exclusively. And so you'll, you will develop these with SOHCAHTOA. You won't be doing this crazy thing where you uh, draw arrows. It will just take too long. If you've done this on paper, this finding the magnitude of delta V is a relatively easy Pythagorean theorem. Finding the direction, all you really need to do is use the inverse tangent once you're in the position of knowing what your delta V is, both its magnitude and direction, you're ready to finish the calculation by dividing by delta T.